Katie Sand over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're doing something strange. We're going outside to my outside compost. Um, it's one of those things where it actually needs um, just as much attention as the inside worm compost bins in order for it to keep operating at its optimum. Um, because of the worms, I've gone from two um, 4x4 pallet compost bins. Or I'm down to two. I had four. And so now I am able to keep track of the and process the yard waste for me and my neighbors and uh, the park stuff that blows over here in the fall. So I'm just going to show you what I've got going on here. And I know that uh, I couldn't operate just with worms alone. I actually need the outside compost here. Uh, I've got about a little over a quarter of an acre, and grass, leaves, etc. cannot be processed by worms alone. At least not at this point. I don't have enough. So, let me show you what I've got here. And so these are just your typical pallets that businesses use to bring things in for freight. And this one looks a lot nicer. Uh, it's actually been screwed together and whatnot. This one uh, kind of got thrown together very quickly this year because uh, it's been raining a lot here and I just honestly, in between the raindrops and everything else, did not have time to make sure that it was put together very nicely. So I'm going to pull it apart a little bit here and uh, see if I can tidy it up so that I can get it screwed back together. So normally I go around and I weed my garden and, and put it into the five gallon buckets and then throw the five gallon buckets into the active side of the compost pile. In case you ever wondered what these are, these are called day flowers. I swear they grow faster than anything else on the planet. So I'm going to try and move some stuff from this side to that side so I can get this cleared up and uh, hopefully get it screwed together so that it can survive another year. I don't typically wear gloves, but with the amount of glass and brick and nails that are in my yard, um, I don't take chances. I don't, I don't care about having dirty nails, but I don't want to have holes in my hands. I know a lot of people would say that sticks really don't belong in a compost pile, but I, I, I find they do double duty. They include a little bit of uh, microbial and fungal activity and they also promote a little bit of aeration so that things don't get anaerobic if I can't flip it all the time. The pallets don't actually last forever. They last about five years. Unless they're chet pallets, in which case they last... Well, they last a long time. I don't know. I haven't killed one yet. This one over here has actually been filled, and it's reduced itself probably about three times. Uh, since spring started and everything started to uh, collapse in on itself. I harvested over a ton, literally a ton, not like a figurative ton, but a literal ton 
of uh, maybe even more of soil from bees from last season. I get in here and flip everything over a couple times a year and then harvest it in the spring when it's thawed out and I run it through uh, about a quarter inch sifter which I, which I do by hand. <laughs> I don't, yeah here it is. So my husband made a set of these. One of them is, this is a half inch, there's one that's a quarter inch. And I just put them over my wheelbarrow, put the stuff in, in here, and move it back and forth until the small particles fall through and the large particles go back in the pile. It is labor intensive, but it is, uh, it is the wellness program for my household is to sustainably live my life which is also healthy. I would say that when I'm harvesting, I probably get 50 to 75% that harvests out, and then the other 25 to 50%, depending upon the age, goes back in. This is an example about what went back in this spring. You can see there's roots, leaves, mulch, plastic that blew in from someplace, sprouting weeds, sticks, and it all goes back in. The only thing I ever take out is, is when I find big rocks or plastic. You know, and sometimes I even leave the plastic and rocks in for more aeration, possibly more nutrient adding. I'm not sure uh, about that, but I give everything a chance to compost. Neighbors also feed this on their own. Uh, usually at the beginning of the season, they'll ask me which side is active and, and where do I want them to put things. And then they just come over here and add to their add it themselves. They don't you know, give it to me and then I add it. Which is cool. It's totally cool. Um, duct tape. I'm not sure about that. I don't think duct tape is compostable. So that's nice. Um, you know, if you can help your neighbors who don't have the ability or the space to go green, if you will. Um, do what you can to help them out. I mean, you're not in the world yourself. Okay. I think I've got myself a good enough spot. I brought it out here, didn't I? Because this stuff is really heavy, I'm using obviously a well used pitchfork, not a hay fork. Um, you run enough tools, you start learning the hard way which ones go for what. My goal is to clear this out enough so that I can put the pellet back in place and screw everything back together so it'll stay nice and solid. We also put the uh, wood ash in here from bonfires. Just the wood ash from normal wood, not particle board. I don't know if it really matters 100%, but just in case, um, that usually just gets put in the driveway, which is gravel. And in case you're wondering, yeah, I do find spiders. Um, 
I do find mice, centipedes, millipedes, uh, on occasion some sort of a tunnel of a larger creature that I hope I never see. Yes, this could be engineered better. Yes, it could be done out of better materials. But the whole point is to use it with your got and uh, reduce your carbon footprint. I have a, a layer of bricks that goes against the house or against the garage here. A layer of uh, some sort of brick that goes underneath the wood. Try and make it last a little bit longer. Um, plants that didn't make it. Soil. If everything is uh, biodegradable, it goes in here. I remember who I was talking to about snails. I don't even know where the heck they came from. I don't remember seeing them until recently. I blame the birds. Alright, so this is what between I would say March and now looks like as far as processing in my outside bin. You can kind of see the graduation between old and new. So I would say this is mostly the stuff that went back from last year in combination with some kitchen stuff and whatever the neighbors have put in. So I will bring you back when I'm getting everything screwed back together. Alright, I'm back. Uh, due to some rain and some uh, fancy, fancy redneck engineering here, uh, I kind of went and did it without you guys. But I'll show you the gist of, of what's happening here. These are crappy pallets and they're a compost pile. And uh, I don't, you know, try and put lipstick on the pig, so to speak, but uh, I do save everything. Not really a hoarder, but just a upcycle hoarder. So these are doors. This is hinges from doors that um, were broken or were replaced or whatever, and I saved them. And random screws, and that is, you know, that's good enough. That's gonna that's gonna hold everything for the next year. Um, look over here. So that one's maintaining the shifting from front to back on the vertical axis, and this is maintaining the horizontal axis shifting. Same story. You can tell the wooden the wood is too rotten to put a screw in there, but uh, did put you know the screws don't match. It's a crappy old hinge on a crappy bunch of pallets that were upcycled and not in a landfill. None of it. So that's my point. My husband's like, oh my god, can't believe you're going to show people your redneck engineering. I am proud of my redneck engineering. If you're proud of your red redneck engineering and don't mind my redneck engineering, guess what the thumb is for? That's right. Give me a thumbs up. And you know, I still manage to get dirty even with gloves on. How does that happen? If you know me, I just it's me. I'm 
dirt attractant. So anyway, this is my outside episode of my outside compost bins. And this is this is what they're gonna do. I piled up some stuff over there, but that's gonna that's gonna come back down here in another couple months and lawn clippings and weed buckets and uh, that will keep on and on and next year I will have another literal ton of compost to put it back into the ground. You figure I take biomass out with my fruits and vegetables and I put biomass back, the circle of life if you will. All right, so I kind of yammered on there after the whole thumbs up. Kacha, hmm? That's right. So, anywho, let's, let's turn it around and see. Okay, I suck at selfies. But, if you like this sort of thing, this is what I do. I compost. I hoard. I upcycle. I'm obsessed with more than plants, as you can tell. So, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button. Again, please, like the video. I would like your video. It's the nice thing to do. Anywho, everybody, have a good day.